So I want to do this quick video about a couple things. So number one, why the rich get richer, the poor get poorer, and why that'll never change. Uh, no legislation, the government, no laws, no nothing's going to ever change that. I'll explain why. And I'll explain what this has to do with sales and um, you know anything anything sales related or, or, or running the business a business and, and success or failure in business so in our REI sales Academy um, one thing that we teach that's really different from other sales trainers is that closing is like not a thing in sales I know that sounds weird but Closing is not something you do. Closing is an outcome. When you do everything right during a sales process, when you have the right conversations, when you make the right moves and you take the right steps, then you close deals. That's an outcome. It's, it's not an action. It's an outcome. Um, so this is much the same uh, with why the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. You see, being rich is not an action. Being rich is an outcome of certain behaviors. So just like in sales, closing a deal is the outcome of having the right sales call, asking the right questions, doing the right stuff, focusing on the right things. Being rich is the outcome of having the right behaviors, making the right decisions, um, and so forth. So same as same goes with being poor right same goes with anything in life you have to separate outcomes from behaviors um, you know uh, I often see you know, I'm not even gonna get into into this it's because uh, I, I don't want to upset anyone and I don't want to offend anyone but let's look at this maybe in terms of health and weight loss right being healthy or not healthy you know barring some genetic factors and things like that uh, is usually the outcome of certain behaviors. If you're overweight, there's certain behaviors, lack of exercise, overeating, eating the wrong things that lead to being overweight. If you get, um, you know, certain types of diseases, a lot of times, you know, cancers, heart diseases, uh, again, there's a genetic factor, but many, many times that is a direct uh, effect of certain behaviors. Uh, again, smoking, um, alcoholism, drug abuse, poor diet, lack of exercise often leads to many certain uh, forms of, you know, poor health. Uh, and the opposite is also true. Eating the right stuff, doing the right stuff often leads to good health. So this is this is all interrelated. What, what I see most people fail to do is grasp the difference between outcome and behaviors. And you always need to focus on behaviors. You know, when we do our marketing, we focus on what can I do that is going to lead to a certain outcome, lead to our potential clients wanting to do business with us, um, liking what we do, seeing the value in what we do. And the outcome, I have no control over, but I know if I do certain behaviors, if I give certain advice, if I help as much as I can, then the outcome is going to be we're going to get more business. I know when we do our sales training, when I tra train real estate investors and their acquisitions teams to have the right conversations, ask the right questions, deal with their prospects uh, the right way, focus on the right things, the outcome is going to be more deals at deeper discount, right? I know um, when I focus on running my business a certain way, focusing on the right stuff, having the right daily behaviors, we're going to double in business uh, every single year. So that's, that's the main message of this video is, is whatever you're doing, stop focusing on outcomes. Being rich, being poor, being successful, being unsuccessful, closing deals, not closing deals, those are outcomes. If you want to control outcomes, you have to control behaviors. And the smartest people, the most successful people in the world understand that. So this is why the rich will get richer. Because it's their behaviors that lead to them being rich. You can take away all their money, right? Guess what? They're going to have the same behaviors. They're going to earn that money again. This is why, uh, you know, people who uh, lack of, of 
better words, are, are poor or destitute who win the lotto, guess what happens? Their behaviors don't change, the money is squandered, bad investments are made, and they end up back where they were. Right? You, you can knock somebody down, but they'll get back up or, or, or not depending on their behaviors. So this is why you can't legislate rich and poor. You can only change behaviors and you can take everything away from the rich or you can give everything you can to the poor and they're going to be right back to where they were. And the exact same goes to great salespeople and poor salespeople, right? They're never going to change unless they change their behaviors. It's not going to be a new product. You can't give them a new service. You can't change their commission structure. Nothing is going to make a salesperson better or worse unless you change their daily behaviors, right? This is why salespeople who suck, suck at every company out there under any commission structure possible. They're not focused on their clients. So anyways, I know I've been beating a dead horse here, but I hope this changes your perspective just a little. And, and, and helps you stop focusing on what's the outcome and start focusing on what are my behaviors. Because once you get behaviors locked in, nobody can change the outcome. It's, it's, it's destined.